The idea of a village which would harmonize with the gently rolling downland countryside of Kent was first conceived over 24 years ago. In granting permission for New Ash Green, Richard Crossman, the housing minister, said, I want to see planned, concentrated building, preserving all the countryside intact. This may well be a model of how to get civilized, modern community living in an area of beautiful landscape. Today's village is a vindication of the ideals of its planners, architects and builders. With its 20 neighborhoods, each with its own style and character, its leafy interconnecting footpaths, its woods and greens, it is a model of what can be achieved with sensitivity and imagination in these days of dull conformity. But more important perhaps than all this is the sense of community in New Ash Green. A place where all age groups from the youngest to the oldest can find a sense of belonging. A place where people live rather than just exist. Ash Green has many groups for dance and for music which meet regularly. One of the most important is New Ash Green Music Workshop, which meets every Saturday morning, often with up to a hundred children involved, and which was founded in 1975 by Mrs. Valerie Dyke. Ballet groups meet here and there in the village, in the village hall, and in the youth centre. The recorder groups have done particularly well. They range from four to six-year-olds right the way through to advanced ensembles and quartets. There is also a full orchestra with strings and woodwind. And many of the children uh, in this have gone on to perform at places like the Trinity School of Music or the Junior Music School in Kent. And there are choirs too. The children of the workshop often perform outside in places like Turner's Oak Old People's Home and Ash Church. In 1985, the Peter Rabbit Recorder Book was dedicated to the activities of the children of New Ash Green Workshop. people in New Ash Green is I suppose the youth centre. We put on, put on many activities for them including the discos which are for all ages up to about 20 years old. We have darts and snooker, pool, table tennis. We put on indoor hockey, football. 
schools also put on different activities with the sports centre. They do gymnasiums with them and um, tennis, etc. Uash Green is, is wonderful for the kids, they're free to run, but not only good for kids, it's also great for the parents, the mums and the dads. It's a small community and therefore the shopping centre has a, a friendly village atmosphere. Every outing to the shops becomes like a, a social gathering, which is really nice. They've got all the usual shops in Uash Green, they've got a chemist, the butcher, market that's always well stocked, post office, and then things like the flower shop. It's just gorgeous to walk past there, all the lovely flowers. The pet shop isn't just a place where you can go and buy all your stuff for the animals. It's also rather like having a miniature zoo. We often pop in there and just show the kids the animals, the parrots, the fish, without actually buying anything. The vegetable shop is, is known as the farm shop and that is what it really is. You can get fresh stuff there all the year round, a very high quality. There are also the less obvious shops there, ones you really probably wouldn't expect to find in a small place, but they're there. They've also got upstairs a really good restaurant called The Ashes. It features bands, has hen nights, special singles parties. It's altogether a really nice place. We go there quite frequently. As you might imagine, a flourishing village such as New Ash Green has a thriving drama group called, quite simply, Act One. We started in 1973 and since then we've put on three shows a year. Uh, in the summer we put on a review, which coincides with Village Week. In the autumn we make our main play, it could be anything from Shaw to Joe Orton. And in the winter, the February period, we put on a pantomime or a, a children's show. We have about 30 members and we are lucky enough to draw them from all walks of life and we're particularly strong in the technical department including the set design, lighting and sound. This bringing together of various people is quite a constant theme in New Ash Green. From different walks of life people come and join in various activities such as the barbecue which we have every summer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, There's a great variety of dogs here. The smaller ones obviously are suited for people who don't like a lot of exercise, but as you can see, some of the larger varieties are here in abundance as well. It is a good place for dogs because there are woods and the meadow to take them where you're not going to worry anyone who doesn't like dogs. The majority of people here know that there'll be dogs running loose down there. But the woods are ours. They belong to us, belong to the village. There's not only the dogs here, of course, there are horses. There's an excellent stable around the corner. And uh, if you're an expert rider, you'll obviously be very welcome. But you're also welcome if you're a novice and just want to learn how to ride. And you can ride in the indoor stable and then later on perhaps go out onto the roads, which are quite quiet and just hack round gently. But of course, not all the activities are as strenuous as that. In fact, when I uh, moved to the village a few years ago, I joined the camera club. It's one of about, uh, well, I suppose, 40 or 50 different clubs and groups that are available. And uh, as I'm pretty interested in photography, I, I find it very congenial. We get together a couple of times a month or so and go to some landmarks such as Ash Church, just south side of the village, and, you know, we'll get our cameras out and uh, interpret it in our, no doubt, very different ways. Then we meet and compare results and, and we learn from each other. Sometimes we do exhibit our work and or we might go in for competitions and that sort of thing. Mind you, you know, we don't pretend to be marvellous artists and, and we criticise each other's work, something horrible sometimes. 
It's a, uh, you know, I think it's a nice way to, to get together and explore the village and, and its surroundings. And um, to be honest, that's, that's what I like about this place. Uh, there's plenty for the kids to do and for their mums and dads. And of course, the old people aren't forgotten by any means. I've forgotten the Japanese name. I knew it. Well, Turner's Oak is um, run by Anchor Housing Association, which is a, a housing association that provides sheltered housing for elderly people. The idea is that they live as independently as they desire, but there's an overall security of a warden on site. Coming to New Ash Green, it helped balance the community quite a lot because there were very many young families and not so many of the older generation. And it's a situation that's worked very well because we've received a lot of help from young families in the village. We've adopted grannies, had an adopted granny scheme, and people come in offering help of any kind. So we have a babysitting rotor whereby anybody in the village who needs a babysitter can come and we can usually supply somebody to go and sit with their children. Uh, we have ladies that go and collect children from school and look after them until mum comes home. In the past we did have one old gentleman who used to go out and help another old person with their garden. So it's not just all one way. We've been open ten years. We have really, I think, about a third of our original tenants. And what is interesting is we have an age gap of almost 30 years from the youngest to the eldest, so it's not quite such a ghetto of old people as one may think. When I first came to live in the village, the first thing I asked myself was, has it got a good library? If it hasn't, well, the place isn't civilised. But yes, it has got a good, well-stocked library. Oh, and a doctor and dentist, or well, everything else you need for a full, happy, contented sort of life. As soon as I saw it for the first time, I knew I'd found what I was looking for. I could leave my cares behind me. I'd come home. Here I find my peace of mind.